of filming and I thought I would bring you along some behind the scenes. So I'm finishing off my coffee, I just had my breakfast and I think first thing we're going to head into the bathroom. So let's go, I'm going to quickly unpack the dishwasher, repack it and then we can get the day started. Probably a YouTuber content creator's worst nightmare, especially in the middle of a busy vlogging season. I dropped my camera. I don't know what to do, it doesn't want to open. So now I'm vlogging on my big ass camera <laughs> just so that I can continue this vlog. I'm gonna see. Um, if I finish like all of my filming today, I'm just gonna continue vlogging on this camera. I'm probably gonna switch over to my phone sometime because I have to shoot some content later on this camera. The weather is also very, very like half sunny, half cloudy, and that's like the worst lighting to shoot in. But I'm just gonna have to make it work been like this for days and days so yeah I'm just gonna have to I don't know most probably gonna have to buy a new camera today I've had this for a while can I just show you my camera drawer I present to you cameras I have focus over here please and it's making the weirdest like focusing sound i'm gonna have to change the setting but anyways i have the g7x look at this one the g7x mark ii this is this this is how much i vlog and like i i you i need to grab my camera out of my bag and sometimes i put it on a wall and it'll fall i really like this one I, <laughs> this one uh yeah and this one yeah <laughs> i think this one still works actually charge the battery i think this one so what happened with the mark 3 was um yeah i don't know if you can tell over here that completely snapped off and that is kind of like the connection to the screen so the camera works i don't know it's probably dead the camera works but you can't see on the screen and then this one I think does work I just switched over to this one I've had two of these I think I sold no I've had two of these I sold one of them they were still in pretty good condition this one I didn't sell because it's not in good condition it's just it's absolutely battered um, and this one is just completely broken, but I just, I've kind of hold, I've held on to them because it's like, ah! <laughs> I've probably filmed millions and millions of, thousands and thousands, millions and millions of clips on these cameras. This one I've used the past year. Um, I got this in probably just before COVID actually. And... I used it for a little bit but then I switched over to the Canon again and then my Canon broke so I was like I have a camera let me just use this one until I can find I actually also bought a Canon V10 or something like that but I returned it because I just did not like it and I had such issue with returning that camera and eventually getting my money my money back so I haven't purchased any other camera I think the quality of this camera is unmatched it's just I don't know the the focusing sound I don't really 
use this camera for audio because of the, the lens focus. I don't know if there's a setting that I can... Uh, I'll see now, but um, you're probably just going to see B-roll in the next couple of clips. But yeah, I'm sad. I kind of fell in love with this camera. I just, I just got to figure it out and maybe I can just get someone to fix it. Um, we'll see, but often these things... It just costs so much money to fix these things you might as well just get a new camera and for me because it's my job and I just I vlog so much I might as well just oh, just get a new one but yeah I just wanted to show you this because my goodness gracious me I have been through so many cameras in my lifetime in my almost 10 years of YouTube so yeah I'm actually looking at getting, what is it called, the, um, I think it's called the Osmo Pocket, Osmo Pocket 3, yeah, it kind of looks like this, it is quite expensive, but cameras, they're just expensive, like this one that I'm shooting on right now, is really expensive, the lens alone, I think was like almost 20,000, and then the camera, uh, when I purchased it a few years ago, I think I paid like 25 um, and it's just a big camera to vlog with. It's also heavy, it's very heavy, so you need like a huge, I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to do like a little video on my phone, but y'all, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's like huge and it's heavy. <laughs> so I... I would love to vlog with this camera, but number one, it is big. Brain will not walk next to me if I vlog this vlog on this camera. So this one, um, the Osmo Pocket, is kind of lightweight. Um, it's very small. Palessa actually vlogged with it. And um, I've been... Uh, Lachelle also vlogged with it, and I was like, maybe I should get it. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of torn. Anyways... I digress, let me um, film my little TikTok. I've been charging my phone a little bit so that I can just do that um, because I have another piece of content to shoot that I'm gonna shoot on this camera. Um, and then maybe if we have some time, we can just, I don't know. I don't know if I should be impulsive and just go and buy it. <laughs> today these jeans i got these jeans in germany like literally just before germany and they are huge and so long i don't know i don't know if this is like a, a, i think it's a vibe for the kind of content that i'm doing this camera is so heavy okay no i think i'm gonna change the pants and just do like a little skirt um because the jeans just look it looks like i'm wearing my husband's jeans it looks a little bit better oh very cutesy okay i'm gonna shoot my content let me get my stuff so i'm working with lays on a couple of pieces of content and besides like the mini pack of the new um, flavors, Chinese five spice and Italian truffle and garlic. We got like a whole bunch of really, really fun things. We're gonna do like a chip and paint, you know, like a sip and paint. But we also got these gorgeous glasses. How stunning is that? That's so different. It just says ladies takes you flavors that takes you places so i'm gonna film like a little reel i also just did a tiktok um unboxing all of this so i'm pretty sure like 
if you are on TikTok and you follow me on TikTok, please show my TikTok, lots of love, and when you see my chip and paint reel, but I know like sip and paint, I still want to do one of those where like my friends and my family, where you go and you have like a spritzer, whatever, and you paint either on pottery or in this case we're going to do like an actual, what am I going to paint? I'm not an artist. What am I going to paint? I'm really excited. I don't know what the hell I'm going to paint. And then we also got, look at this stunning cooler box. It's like grey and brown. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Ooh, there's chips inside. <laughs> just got some inspo but hell how am I gonna do this we need to pick an easy one <laughs> um, okay I think I'm gonna just shoot my content for the most part I don't know how to act with this camera this camera is just it's throwing me off my it doesn't feel like I'm vlogging because I'm not used to speaking to this camera when I'm vlogging so I kind of feel out of uh, a little bit out of tune so I do apologize if it's coming across that way okay I'm gonna just shoot the most important bits of the video um, and then I'll take some time to stop debating something what am I gonna paint I think something like Italy but I know I don't think I've ever painted like this except when I was like really young I drew and like sketched um anyways okay let's do this <laughs> What did you say? just went for my walk um and then just changed into clothes other than leggings because i have been living in leggings i mean literally only put on actual nice clothes when it's like the weekend or when i'm shooting content by the way i haven't vlogged since um my little chip and paint brain got home and he was like what when did you learn how to paint <laughs> And I was like, I didn't. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I guess I just have like the creative gene. I don't know. But I definitely want to paint more and see if I can develop this, this newfound skill. I've never picked up a paintbrush like this and just paint it. And it was so fun. I definitely want to plan like a sip and paint this was a chip and paint for lays it was so fun by the way i don't know where to look because i'm vlogging from my phone because my camera broke obviously and it i just feel like a total idiot vlogging with this huge camera i just don't feel like myself when i'm talking to this camera to that camera like the big camera because i'm so used to just like um shoot reels with it and you know content for my socials or when i'm doing like a makeup tutorial or 
you know what I'm trying to say um yeah it's quite windy today I only managed to do like a 30 minute walk also I have quite a bit of cramps um so I just did what I could this morning it's also very windy like my ears were literally frozen um I'm headed off to the mall I'm gonna go to Clearwater and see if they have this little camera um vlogtober almost died almost came to an end abruptly and very early um but i'm excited to transition into vlogtober very soon i think i'm gonna do that like early let me know if you want to see that this vlog i don't i looked at the footage yesterday and i was like i'm not gonna upload this vlog but i think it's fine i think it's fine um i need to let go of this perfectionism type a virgo personality and just roll with it i feel that i really want to just get out of my comfort zone the remainder of this year and just go with it let's just go with it um i'm gonna head to the mall i'm gonna get the car washed same time because my goodness this car is dirty and there's nothing i hate more well there, there's a lot of things but <laughs> There's nothing that I dislike more than driving in a car that's full of like grass and yeah, but it gets messy so quickly. But anyways, let's go. Let's go see if they have this camera. If they don't have it at Clearwater, I'm going to probably have to drive to Santon, which I really don't want to do because Santon is like a task for a whole day. And I really just want to be like in and out. I want to come home, probably get back into comfy clothes because these cramps are not it um and just maybe play with the camera and see how it is i don't know Let's see. once again your phone says that you're busy and all my texts are falling to the ground once again Return something. Um, oh, these cramps, and it's so cold. Oh, it is so cold. I'm gonna put my seat heater on. They always like mess with these seats. <laughs> oh, seat heater, seat heater. It is raining now just wash the car but it's okay at least it's clean on the inside taking back the me i used to know well i haven't been feeling too well since yesterday but i came home i couldn't find the camera in the store so i just came home and i just ordered it online for next day delivery i still had it so weird to i think we've been through the most with this vlog from the phone to vlogging with a humongous camera but this is the new camera i don't know how to work it yet um yesterday when i got it i was just kind of playing with it 
in bed because I got it quite late. Um, so I haven't really had time. And this memory card that I have is quite small because it, it takes an SD memory card, which I'm so used to just having normal SD cards for all of my cameras. So now I need to get one that is a nice, big and professional, you know, um, quality because I think the memory card plays a big role in whether you're shooting for, I'm shooting in 4K right now, 30 frames per second. And I don't know, I kind of played around with the settings. You can zoom in and out. Like this is the 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 much the most you can zoom in and out with the camera. I will be doing like a review, maybe in a month's time, maybe using this camera for a little bit so that I can see how it is. But this is just like my first impressions. I kind of switched over to the side now so that the light is coming from the front. And then this was the light coming from the back. You literally just like, it can <laughs> And then it flips right around. I don't know, I'm so excited. I hope the, the quality is good. Let me know. I have been filming content for my channel the whole day um, for my um, my brain for Instagram the whole day. Um, I haven't been able to play with this, and like I said yesterday, when I got it, it was quite dark already. Um, but I think for the remainder of today, um, I'm about to go for my walk. Maybe I can take it on my walk and just <laughs> kind of play around with it. But um, I will probably only get to experience it fully in, you know, the coming videos as I play with it. But yeah, this is where I do most of my outfit of the days. So what I like is that it's not changed. When I used my Sony ZV-1, the camera that I started this vlog with, if I would go down, it would sometimes go dark. But this is actually so, so good. And I, I don't know, I like the zoom. So this is like, like I said, the closest zoom. Brain is back there. And then also there's a feature if you hold it, double tap. If you double tap on your face, there's a feature. Hi, this is my outfit of the day. We're about to go for a walk. <laughs> this is so fun. It means I need to get used to looking up now because normally, let me go kind of cool. It's so cool. Look, it like tracks my face. We're going this way. <laughs> We're going this way. Mine doesn't that, that mean anymore. I always need you, Lily. But it's so cool. And Brain even said that he actually wouldn't mind um, <laughs> like walking next to me if I'm vlogging in public. You it's did. Better. You said it's cool. Brownies, brownies. <laughs> I just made brownies. <laughs> it's like, what did you say? It's you better. said, yeah, it's almost like not even noticeable. Yeah, I mean, it's not noticeable, <laughs> but it's better than having like a normal camera. You vlog with it? <laughs> let's turn it, let's turn the face. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> Can you select to use face? Frosty Track? Frosty way. Oh, it's, oh, it's on your face now. No, yeah, I'm trying to get it on your face. I think you need to open your... Hello! <laughs> you see, now it's concentrating on the right face. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited about this little camera! Okay, um, I'm going to get my shoes in a little bit and then we are going to go for a walk. And then I'm going to take this camera and just like, I don't know, play with it I guess. <laughs> So yeah, this is the camera leafies. Um, I also just, there's like a, you can move the joystick up and down, left and right. Like this, look. So instead of, so if you're holding it like that, it's like a gimbal. So you see it kind of moves with you. 
but then if you you can literally hold the camera like this see I'm literally holding it there you are <laughs> and if you want to literally vlog so discreetly just like this you can that's how high it can go oh it's so cool i love it you see you can't even tell that i'm vlogging hi <laughs> i need to zoom out a little bit i feel like mr bean <laughs> <laughs> this is like the a proper Mr. Bean <laughs> camera. But go get Michael eleven exponential long school. Brain is watching his brother play cricket. See how easy that was to turn around? That was so easy. Which button do you click? This one. Binks. Isn't and a, you can um ooh there it goes on your face. Is there no gesture or there's just it's just a button there. Mm -hmm. But there's like a setting. There's like a setting. Recenter. When you double tap it, it recenters. Hello. <laughs> I'm fully face tracking. I wonder if I can disable this face tracking. Um there's like a setting that you can I think it's like one to six the speed how the camera turns around can be like quick it can be a bit slower um i just need to stop looking at the screen and look at the actual camera because it's so distracting it's like you can't really notice it on the camera can you i don't know i'm so excited <laughs> so well the quality looks good on me and um, it comes with all of these little um, attachments. I think. You see, now I'm just putting it down on the counter with no tripod and just tilting up the camera. And it comes with a whole bunch of attachments. So it comes with this bag, it comes with the mic, which I don't even know if I'm going to use. So I'm guessing they've got a... I think maybe for like, sorry, mm -hmm. for like loud spaces, this might be beneficial, like the the actual mic. But let me know, testing one, two, <laughs> how the sound quality is. And then it comes with, um, so the only thing I don't like so far is if you put all of these attachments on. So this is the little tripod. So it comes with feet for the tripod the you know for the camera but you can't just connect it to the to this camera right now you have to put the extender on so you have to put it on the extender and then click it onto the camera so that is fine but i mean if you look at this look how much bigger it gets do you see see anything Tripod. Yeah, and then when you take the battery pack, so this is like an extra um, battery. But this kind of like a cocoa. But this the um, size battery, like twelve volt. What's that? <laughs> twelve volt. That's what they can do. <laughs> it's a twelve volt battery. Mm -hmm. So a, a power bank is like uh, 5,000 mAh or 10,000 or um, So 950 So not even a thousand no, But I don't know how much power this thing takes because a phone so should will, take a lot more power than this So like a, I can't remember the exact but let's say 5,000 milliamps gives you uh, two charges on a phone so this will probably charge it once i yeah, think once or twice 
Um, I don't so think just keeping like... this in this little bag as a backup to have. But I, I've seen, I've watched so many videos on this camera in the last like day. Um, you can plug it into a power bank on the go and like charge it on the go. I don't know if you can use it while it's charging. Let's test it. Okay, plugging it in. Oh, it's charging. Yeah, it is charging, you see? The camera does feel slightly warm because I'm shooting in 4K. I think that's a common problem with a lot of cameras. Shooting in 4K, I remember my Canon G7X Mark III. Um, it used to overheat in 4K. I never shot in 4K. But this one, you can shoot in 4K. You can shoot in from 25 frames per second up to 60 frames. I'm just shooting in 30. I think 24, 30 frames um, is good for, you know, normal consumption of footage. If you're doing slow-mo and cinematic shots, it's better to do a higher frame rate. And then... Um, I mean, you can shoot in just 1080p, let's see. It shoots in 1080p, 2.7K and 4K. And one thing to know that as soon as you, um, oh, damn it. as soon as you film like this, which I'm not planning on doing, <laughs> if you shoot for like TikTok or whatever, um, the quality goes down to, 3k so 2.7k um because the actual lens doesn't really turn it just crops it so i guess that is something to just keep in mind if you want to get this camera for um you know social media vertical content and not necessarily youtube i think the quality just goes down a little bit when you shoot like this but um, yeah, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to import this footage and just have a look at it before we go on a walk and then I'll bring the camera on my walk and just get some shots as well. It is nighttime now and I wanted to see what this camera looks like in extremely, not extremely, but significantly low light. I also have this, which I used to use with my um, Sony ZV-1 all the time. I just kind of clipped it on top of the camera. This is actually for your phone. I use it for my phone as well, but you just clip it on top of your camera this light is bigger than this camera. So yeah, I can actually just like hold it in my hand. Oh, that looks better. But I think this this light is actually, yeah, it's flat. Um, So yeah, just maybe holding it in my hand. I can't clip it anywhere. I can't clip it on top because this is like a gimbal. So it like moves and I don't want to restrict it. And I also don't want to clip it on the screen and like potentially touch something so yeah i'll work it out i think um this vlog is also for me to post not necessarily because i'm proud of it and it's it doesn't even have a topic but yeah my camera broke and this is the process of me just getting a new one and sharing it with you i also want to hear your feedback what do you think because i feel that um at the end of the day, you are the person watching it and you also need to be happy with the quality, I think. I don't think any camera does extremely great in low light, but from the reviews of this camera, I've heard that it does really, really well in low light. So yeah, I'm going to upload this video. I want to hear from you what you think. Um, any feedback? If you think I should just get another one, um, maybe look into, because I really enjoy the qu the quality of the Sony's. Um, the image is a little bit cropped. I like that this is kind of, you know, you can see a bit more, whereas the Sony was quite like 
it was like here <laughs> and you're like very close to me um but yeah let me know what you think um i'm very excited for vlogmas i think there might just be like one or two vlogtober vlogs left um and then I think I'm gonna just transition into Vlogmas and kind of start it early. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to just get it started. I mean, what the, what what else am I gonna do in November? <laughs> Wait for Vlogmas. Um, I think I'm gonna put my tree up in the next couple of days. Let me know what you think about that. If you're excited when you are putting up your tree. I really just have loved kind of vlogging in real time and getting getting vlogs up within a couple of days. Um, whereas usually it would take me like, you know, two-ish weeks, maybe even three weeks sometimes. And in Vlogmas, I would normally try and get as much filmed in November as possible so that I can get content out. Because the way I film my vlogs, I like to make it topic specific and to just tell you like a good story in one video instead of just posting for the sake of posting. But I think, I think I've come to the conclusion that you just enjoy whatever content I hope um, that I give you. So if that is true, let me know in the comments. Um, any feedback that you can give me, I will really, really appreciate it. I'm excited for this new little chapter. <laughs> Hopefully this is an upgrade and not a downgrade. Cause I remember from the beginning of the year when I thought I got a nice camera and then it just wasn't for me. Um, I, I think this camera is kind of labeled as a beginner, which I don't agree with because it's really not a beginner price tag this camera is so expensive um i think i paid seventeen thousand for this little combo which really isn't a beginner camera price i mean even my canon g7x whatever was i think 12 or thirteen thousand. i don't know what the sony um the sony zv range goes for um but these things are getting really expensive so it's important to me that i'm 100 percent happy with it so if you have any feedback let me know i'm gonna um, export this footage and try and get this vlog up you ladies i have a little bit of editing to do so i'm gonna sit here and just edit for a little bit and then i'm excited to see you ladies in the next vlog i'm excited to put the tree up i'm excited to just like yeah it's gonna be so fun i love you ladies and i'll see you in the next one Mwah.